OK, in this problem, we've got a particle of mass 16 kilos is at rest on a rough plane inclined at 13 degrees to the horizontal. The particle is given an initial velocity of 8 meters per second and starts to move up the plane. The particle comes to instantaneous rest after 1.2 seconds. Find the coefficient of friction between the particle and the plane. OK, so let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on. So. Here's our particle. This angle is 13 degrees. It's got its uh, mass of 16 kilos, so weight of 16 g. So, uh, splitting it into its component parts, we're going to have 16 g sine of 13 degrees and 16, oh, sorry, 16 g cosine of 13 degrees. OK, so there's going to be a normal reaction force, R, and there's going to be a frictional force against the direction of motion. OK? So, uh, we know that there's an initial velocity of 8 metres per second. Uh, we also know that it comes to rest after 1.2 seconds. So, SUVAT-wise, we, where we are currently with that is that we know that um, the initial velocity is the 8 meters per second. I know the final velocity is 0 because it comes to rest. I know the time is 1.2. Okay, So what I can find with those three bits of information is the acceleration. Okay, I'm not so interested in S. I need the acceleration. So I want the equation that doesn't have S, which is the top one. So V equals U plus AT. So 0 is equal to 8 plus A times 1.2. OK. So um, 8... Uh, so take the 8 for both sides, we've got minus 8, and divide that by 1.2. And so that gets us minus 20 thirds metres per second per second. OK, so this is a deceleration of minus 20 over 3 metres per second per second. OK, or a deceleration of 20 thirds metres per second per second. OK, if we're being uh, properly proper about it. OK, so... That's got us that bit. Right, so we now know the acceleration. Um, so I'm going to put it in as minus 20 thirds working in that direction. OK. So what do we now have? Well, um, what I want to find is the coefficient of friction between the particle and the plane. And I know that in this case, because we're accelerating, we must have f is equal to mu times r. So if I resolve uh, perpendicular to the plane, I take upwards as positive, or um, perpendicular to the plane in that direction as positive. I've got the r. I've got the 16g cosine 13. And there's no acceleration perpendicular to the plane, so that's equal to zero. So that gets me my r. So 16 times 9.8 times cosine of 13. So that's 152.781, etc. newtons. So that's my normal reaction force. Now, I've got the r. I don't have the f. OK, so I need the F. So if I now resolve parallel to the plane, and I'm going to take up the plane as positive, now what I've got is I've got the friction force working against me. OK. I've got the weight working against me. And that's equal to the mass times by the acceleration. So everything's negative here. So by all rights, I could have looked at resolving the other direction. No matter. OK, this makes sense. So if I multiply everything through by minus 1, it makes it easier for ourselves.
then I can get the friction force by multiplying the uh, 16 by the 20 over 3 and then taking away 16 lots of 9.8 times sine of 13. And that gets me 71.394, etc. Okay, so that's my frictional force. Right, so I've got my frictional force is equal to mu times the normal reaction force. Okay, so I've still got that number on my calculator, but I don't have the previous one. So I'm going to divide it by 16 times 9.8 times cos of 13. So using the result that I had. And that gets me 0.467. So 0.47 to 2 sig fig. So that is my coefficient of friction.